Hey there, this is Sean Donahoe and welcome to video one. And in this video, we're going to dive into the actual setup, installation, configuration, and just basically getting started. So what I want to do here is show you how to download the main plugin. Now, this is a plugin that bolts onto any self-hosted WordPress website, and it's very, very powerful. Then we're also going to install the optional theme. And again, you can use Profit Builder with uh, out the theme. You can use it on your existing site. Maybe you don't want to change themes or anything like that. That's absolutely fine. We bolt onto any theme and override it. Now, uh, in, if you want to, you do have the optional theme, and that adds a lot of extra power functionality to the whole Profit Builder setup. And uh, this website that you're looking at right now is built in the Profit Builder theme and the Profit Builder plugin. Uh, the entire sales funnel you saw on the front end, it, all the same. Everything is built on the whole Profit Builder suite, but you can do it without, no problem at all. So I'm going to show you both of those things as we get going. So let's start with actually setting up and installing the plugin. I'm going to download the plugin. You can see that it's digitally signing it. And we'll also download the theme while we're here as well, just so that's in the back end. And the cool thing is both of these are fairly large because there's a lot of power in here. Um, so some shared hosts, you might not be able to install the traditional way, but I'm going to show you on a shared host right now with HostGator uh, just how we go and set that up. But I'm going to show you an alternate way of installing as well. So just in case you have any restrictions from your host. GoDaddy, for example, is one I know that limits your upload size and a couple of things like that. So what we got here is a very basic demo site. Uh, just installed this. This is WordPress 2014 theme. So I'm just going to come into the back end, click plugins, add new, and then I'm going to upload plugin. And then I'm going to choose the plugin and it should be in my download folder. Here we go. And you can see the both of them right there. So we're going to get the profit builder one. You can see it's got my username signed to it. And, uh, there we go, my custom version, and here you go. Now, again, this is the easy way to upload it, and then you can see it right there. Then it asks you to activate it, which is where you put in your license code, which would be your email, and that. in fact, let me just do that real quick. We'll just go through the traditional way, and then we'll go through the other way. So you can see, it just ask you for your email address and your author authentication key. Okay, so let's grab that. Again, just copy and paste. Let me put that there. Okay, and then grab the key. And we're good to go. Just click activate. Should take just a moment. And we are good. There we go, we're all installed. Now there is an update from this version available, but don't worry about that, we'll ignore that for now. And we're all set up, we really don't actually have to do anything. You can come in here and do all sorts of changes to different elements and typography. You can select from hundreds of fonts. We'll get into the actual inner workings and gubbings of this in a few moments. But again, there's lots and lots of options in here, including you know changing your primary color set, um, all sorts of different applications. If you want to use um, the Facebook comments, you can come in here and we show you how to get your Facebook ID and stuff like that. We'll cover some of this stuff later on. And then there's all the templates as well. What I'm going to do though real quick is I'm going to delete the plugin and then I'm going to show you the alternate way to do this. So what you, well, let me, let me actually cover the other way without uninstalling. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload it via FTP. So what I need to do to do this is I need to go to my downloads folder. When you download it, you can actually unzip it. So I go to my downloads and then unzip the plugin. And you can do the same with themes, by the way. So I'm going to just unzip it. Now I'm on a Mac. You would use any equivalent on the PC, very, very easy. So that's just unzipping. And I end up with two folders, Profit Builder and there we go. So basically you would take this and then on, in your FTP program, now FTP is file transfer protocol. Um, your host should have given you access 
uh, to that, again, it's just a username and password for, usually it's the same as your cPanel information, just for reference. And you can use any FTP program like um, FileZilla. Um, I'm using Transmit here on the Mac. But basically when you're connected, it's like a file manager. And all you do is go into the back end, go into WP content, where your site is. So in my case, affiliate rockstars.com forward slash WP content. This is where all the plugins are located. And there it is. And you see all you would do is just drag from here to here. Simple as that. In fact, what we'll do in the background, I'm just going to install the theme. The theme is kind of large. So I'm just going to drag that and upload it that way. Now, the other way is from appearance themes and you can click add new upload theme choose file just like we do with the plugins and you would grab the zip file okay now in my case I'm not going to do that I'm actually uploading it via FTP right now so I'm just going to give that a couple of moments you can see it's still uploading so I'm just going to give that a couple of moments to finish and it will be back in a moment Okay, so the theme has now uploaded, and again, you could do it either way, the normal uploader, depending on your um, host's setup, but now if we come back to themes, um, whether you've activated or not, just make sure it's activated, click activate, and it will prompt you for your serial number again, see here, so you can click here to activate, or you can activate the theme here, same basic process, you come over here to your dashboard, grab your username and password. So I'll just grab that here and uh, demo user. It's already saved, put the serial in there, activate it and you're good to go. It's now activated. And again, you've got all the different controls. We're gonna go through this in a, the, the theme settings in a lot more detail in the uh, setting up a authority blocks. We're talking more about the actual inner workings of this. It's a very easy to use control panel. For example, you can upload your logo and your fav icon. You've got um, automatic mobile bookmarking with uh, you know, for your iPad, iPhone, for Android device, devices, and all the other good stuff, all the style settings, just a lot of great theme settings as well. And this is a very powerful, flexible theme that uh, allows you to create any type of site you like. Like I said, this site here that you're looking at, this members area, is all built in Profit Builder theme. And we really designed this to be the all-in-one marketing theme. And you can create everything from Web 3.0 sites, all sorts of great layouts. It's really designed to enhance everything that Profit Builder does. Okay, so the next thing is if we come to the dashboard, you will actually see that there's a few um, little extra steps that you can take. We have some optional support for some really cool plugins, including e-commerce plugins, forums, and everything else. I mean, we thought of everything in here. But you can see here that there's some um, required or recommended plugins. So what you can do is you can click on this little icon, you know, begin installing plugins. And the one I recommend you should have, or you really should have, is the visual icons. This enhances some of the stuff we do. And that is a required plugin. So you can click on that. And then you can select any of the other ones if you like. That's no problem at all. And it will install them. I'm just going to install the one for now. And then you just click install. Now, again, some of these are just recommended. They're completely optional. I do recommend you install the, uh, the, the required ones because it'll make your life much easier. And then that's it. You can. I'm actually gonna now gonna come over here, and I'm just gonna dismiss this notice. I don't need that other stuff right now. I don't need it for these demos. So we're good. We're all set up, ready to rock. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you the basics of operation, how to create pages, deploy the layouts, and everything else. So I'll see you in the next video in just a few moments.